guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome this is my face my name is Ngozi today's video is going to be a very quick one and it's on how to make a goosey pepper soup in this part of the world where I live the weather is getting cold so I thought I should make something to warm us up a little bit so I made a goosey pepper soup it turned out delicious my kids loved it surprisingly please watch to the end to find out how I made this subscribe if you haven't already click the like button very important and I'll see you guys in my next video so for this soup, I'm going to be using stock fish and cow stripe. Now I'm adding them into the pot. I'm going to be cooking both of them together because both of them take time to cook. Now I'm going to add onion. This is one bulb of onion, one medium sized onion, a pinch of salt, two stock cube, add water, cover it and continue cooking. While the meat is cooking, I'm going to prepare every other ingredient I'm going to be using for the soup. First, I'm going to pour my grounded igusi into a bowl, add a bit of water to it, stir it and set it aside. So next I'm going to add pepper, onion and crayfish into a blender, add a bit of water, blend it and then set it aside. Also if you are going to be using the non-blended pepper soup spices, this is the best time to add it now and then blend everything together. So 35 minutes later, the meat and the stockfish were cooked. So now I'm just going to stir it around. You can see the head of the stockfish was already falling apart. That is what you want. So now I'm just going to add the blended pepper mixture. I'm going to add my pepper soup spices. I'm going to be using blended pepper soup spices for this recipe. Then I'm going to add water, cover it up and allow it to be. But mind you, the water you should be using should be to the quantity of a goosey you are making. So use your discretion when it comes to water. So now taste for salt, I tasted and I thought it needed a tiny amount of maggi, so I added half maggi cube to it, covered it and allowed it to boil. 5 minutes later the pot of soup is boiling, now I'm going to add the egusi, remember the egusi we prepared earlier, this is the time to add it, I'm just going to add it now, give it a bit of stir, cover it up and then continue cooking. We don't waste food here, so I'm scooping some stock from the pot and adding it into the plate of a goosey, you know, just to scoop everything out. So I'm going to cover it up now and allow it to cook. A few minutes later, I'm going to go back now and add water again and cook. Add water, cook. Add water, cook. I did that up to three times. The reason is because I like my egusi really, really cooked. At least if it is not fried, I like it really cooked. Otherwise, I'm going to be visiting the loo consistently. So I did that until the egusi released its natural oil. And I'm going to show you what I mean at the end of it. At this point, you can see the oil from the egusi floating on top of the soup. So this is how I know my egusi is ready. I'm going to take it off the heat now. Again, this is a egusi pepper soup, so you don't want it dry. 
thank you guys for watching this video please click the like button subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye The weather is getting cold in this part of the world where I live, so I thought I should make, make something, you know.